not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. People who've been vaccinated are unlikely to get COVID if they've received any of the three available vaccines. Six months later. Breakthrough infections. More breakthrough cases of COVID-19. Fully vaccinated folks testing positive. That's going to be our new normal. Data from the CDC shows nearly 80% were vaccinated. Vaccine 95% effective. This is our shot. To get back to each other, to life. Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a great one and done shot. This is the J&J vaccine that I'll be taking. So one and done. Six months later. Americans will need a third shot. Fourth shot, another booster. Talk about people getting a fourth. Four, I thought we were just talking about three. About six months. About six months. Immunity wane after six months. Six months. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Is this something the government is trying to put over on us, that these are safe and effective products. This vaccine is safe and 100% effective. Six months later. First recorded death. Reported the first two deaths. 28 people who died after taking the COVID-19 vaccine. Her obituary says it was from COVID-19 vaccine. This is VAERS vaccine averse event reporting system. Severe blood clots. She had developed Bell's palsy. Cardiac condition young people who've gotten the COVID vaccine. Patently false. Conspiracy theories suggesting Canadians will be forced into COVID-19 internment camps. COVID internment camps, and I had to uh, explain looking for trusted sources. Six months later. Staying at a federal government quarantine hotel in Calgary. 40 hours without anything to eat. 72 hours waiting for their PCR results. Waiting to find out when they can go home. It's been used as a quarantine facility. It's ideal quarantine setup. Together. We're all in this together. Six months later. Unvaccinated people will be banned from many uh, public facilities. Get going to the restaurant, no longer allowed. Nearly 500 school district employees were fired. Firing hundreds of employees who are refusing to comply. 500 local hospital workers have lost their jobs for refusing to be vaccinated. We're all in this together and it shows.